Now what I found was about 1200 limousines will be used and will be pulling up to the red carpet. Ben, the call for this fire came in just minutes ago. Now, as you can see behind me, it is a wildland fire. Yeah, Amanda, from where I'm standing, you can still see a ton of smoke behind me. It's starting to get dark right now, but that smoke is continuing to drift through the area. Talk about a major fire. I mean, the smoke was so big. I was over at Applebee's. We could see it from there. Now, the guys here say that they're going to try to get me to water ski next. I'm not sure about that. I think I'll just, well, put on my sunglasses, watch the sunset, and wait until spring to try out my next adventure here on the Missouri River. Now, looking ahead to the future here in Great Falls, Bill, where do you see the circus going? Hey, Ben and Katie, I'm at the Grown in Montana store at the Montana State Fair, of course. I'm joined with Cody Schick. We're having a great time out here. So, Cody, tell me a little bit about what's out here. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm daring enough to try the catapult, but what ride do you think you might be trying this year? You can do things like take pictures of animals, clean them up, brush them, play with them. It's just awesome, I love it. And we're featuring Diesel as our pet of the week. And of course, he's looking for his forever home, aren't you? <laughs> That's all we have. We're gonna float away in the canoe now. So we'll see you later, Ben and Katie. Bye-bye. That's right, I'm out here with three ladies who are making history. So we have Alice, Lisa, and Vicki. Tell me what you're doing out here in Montana all the way from Minnesota. For thousands of students across the state, their day starts and ends with a ride on a school bus just like this one. But that isn't the riskiest part of their day. Find out why people across the state are attaching these blue ribbons to their steering wheels and how that's keeping one teen's memory alive. There's a new scam in Great Falls and it involves someone going door to door and asking for donations. Now the plane you see behind me just landed with a full load of passengers, but dressing in warm layers can make all the difference. I'm wearing three layers of clothes, a nice warm hat, a scarf, and a pair of gloves. So I think I'm ready for my run. Even a first time hunter like me found it really simple to use. All you have to do is take your handy cam right here, set it in place and clip it in. Now fish, wildlife and park workers found out that the water here at the Missouri River had receded, but at the same time they learned that about an inch of water had come in here to the raceway. Because we've been enjoying a record breaking February. So what better way to spend that than to come out here on the Missouri River and then you'll have to stay through the fourth quarter and that's when the winners will be announced. Hey there, Taylor. Well, if you picked up a coffee like this one from True Brew this month, I'm sure you've noticed the pink lids and even the pink whipped cream on top of your drink. Step number one is to make sure that your seatbelt is, of course, fastened and buckled up. It's also important to check the mirrors and make sure that visibility is clear all the way around the truck before taking off. And the second thing you need to do is make sure mail like this doesn't pile up inside your mailbox. It's about 50 degrees warmer than what it was yesterday here in the Electric City. However, high winds are going to be a concern. Gardening season is on its way, but don't let all this warm, sunny weather fool you. The last average frost date in the Great Falls area is May 15th. Bannock is one of the most famous ghost towns in Montana, the West, and perhaps the entire United States. I'm in the Mead Hotel, which was built in the late 1800s, and this building is said to be haunted by a 16-year-old girl named Dorothy. There are also more than 4,000 people living in the town at this time. Now I'm standing next to the original sandstone wall. This right here is remnants from the fire dating back to January 1904. For some of the visitors who come here, it reminds them of the way life once was. Ben, Katie, one last look here at the circus. I thought adventurous enough to even take Harold out for a ride. We're having a good time here out at the 65th Annual Shrine Circus. And just a reminder, if you did miss the circus today, you can check it out tomorrow. You're going to see more acrobats, camels, even some tigers. I'm holding on. All right, thank you so much, ladies. We're having too much fun out here, so I'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> out here at the Montana State Fair, it's the 85th annual fair. We hope to see you out here, and of course, we'll see you right back here at 9 o'clock.